All right, in this video here, let's look at finding the center and radius of a circle. And so first, before we do that, let's take a look at the equation of a circle. This is the equation of a circle in standard form. And it says the standard form of the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we can see here, this h here is going to give us the x-coordinate of the center, and this k value here is going to give us the y-coordinate of the center. And then whatever number this is, the square root of this number is our radius r. All right, so let's look at the first example. All right, so the first example says find the center and the radius. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 5. So <clears throat> looking at this, it looks a little different than our equation of the circle, which was x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. All right, so if you, if you look at this, and let's just rewrite this, this would be the same thing as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 5. Okay, So you can see that h is 0, k is 0. Okay, Because if we do x minus 0, well that's x, and then we square it, that gives us x squared. Here y minus 0 is y, if we square it, we get y squared. Okay, So our center, which is hk, is 0, 0. And then our radius, okay, remember the radius, this, this number here is r squared. So r is the square root of that number, which would be the square root of 5. All right, so let's take a look at a, another example. <clears throat> All right, so here we have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 1 ninth. Okay, so let's, let's write down the equation of the circle again. All right. So you can see here how we have we have our x term, there's our minus sign, and so h would be 2. Okay. Now let's look for k. Well, you can see here there's y, but if you notice this is a plus and this is a minus. Okay. So the way to look at it is this would be x minus 2 squared plus, now remember we, gotta, we have to write this as y minus something, see y minus the number. So we have y minus, and remember it has to be a positive 4. Well how do we do that? Well we write y minus negative 4 squared equals one ninth. Okay? And so now you can see that we have it in this form. There's our y, there's our minus, and so k would be negative four. Okay? And just remember, y minus negative four is the same thing as y plus four. Okay? Now An easy way to look at it, okay, you can rewrite it like this, but the easiest way to look at it is when you look at this, you see the sign in front, here the minus sign, and here the plus sign. The easiest way to remember it is our center is, just remember, H and K are going to have the opposite sign of what you see in front, okay? So H would be 2, k would be 
since that's a plus negative 4 okay but and you can also see here there's H and there's K okay but like I said the easiest way to remember it the H and K the sign here is the opposite of what you see here and here okay all right now for R well R is the square root of this the square root of 1 ninth which that's the square root of 1 over the square root of 9 which is 1 third and so there's your radius and there's your center all right we'll take a look at one more all right so this one is a little bit different okay this is the equation of a circle in general form okay so what we're going to do is the first thing is we're going to group the x terms together group the y terms together and we're going to take this constant term and move it to the other side of the equal sign all right so let's just go ahead and add the 23 to both sides so that's x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y equals 23 now let's group the x terms together and what I'm going to do is leave a little space here plus and then the y squared minus 6y group those together and leave a little space there and that equals 23 now what we're going to do here is we're going to do what we call completing the square okay so let's complete the square on this part so if I look at the term in front of x and I take half of that that gives me 2 and then I take that 2 and I square it that gives me 4 so I'm going to add 4 and since I added 4 on this side of the equal sign I have to also add 4 to this side and then I'm going to do the same thing here with the y terms so if I take the 6 and I half it that gives me 3 okay? and then I square the 3 that gives me 9 and since I added 9 to this side I have to also add 9 to the other side all right now this right here you should remember this from factoring this factors into x plus 2 squared plus and then this factors into y minus 3 squared and that's going to equal 36 remember when you're completing the square that's going to uh, make this a perfect square trinomial and this a perfect square trinomial and the easiest way to remember those factoring is you see this term you take the square root of this is x this sign and then the square root of the last term same thing here square root of y squared is y this sign and then the square root of 9 is 3 it'll factor like that every time and so now we can see that the center is remember it's the opposite of what you see in front of the number so that's negative 2 3 there's HK and then the radius is the square root of 36 which is 6 and there's my radius and center alright so I hope this video helped uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my other videos alright thanks